Framer's new AI is insane. And in this video, I wanna show you exactly how to use it and how you can make the most out of it. Yo, what's going on? My name's Ryan, I'm an official Framer mentor and I'm trying to help you level up as a designer using Framer. So in this video, I wanna run you through how we can use AI. Uh, this is a new release by Framer, hot off the bat. It's incredible, like there's so many different things and if you go on Twitter, you can just see the array of people talking about this at the moment. So I thought it'd be good to actually show you how we can use AI in Framer. So from your dashboard, what you're gonna do is you're gonna see this new button here that says start with AI and it already looks a little bit magical. So we'll click on that and we'll automatically get an app tour, but we'll just exit that for now. So now that we're in our dashboard, we can click this fancy button and our prompt generator will appear. Now we can put anything in here. A few things to keep in mind is you wanna keep it uh, fairly descriptive, but not worry too much about styling. You don't wanna go, hey, I wanna use the color red and I wanna use the color blue and I wanted to use a sans serif typeface. You can talk about, uh, you know, uh, styling as a whole, like, hey, I want something colorful, I want something dark and beautiful, uh, but don't necessarily go too specific with this. It's best to kind of give it broad and focus deliberately on the content because we can always tweak the styling later on. So let's write in a prompt here. Let's create a, a startup landing page for uh, a design studio as a subscription. The landing page should act to sell my services and include a list of portfolio work. The site should be bold and stunning. So as a prompt, that's pretty generic. Like if I gave you that as a brief, there's not really too much you can do with it. So the more information we can actually give it, the better results we're gonna get. But just like everything in Framer, we can always tweak this later on. So I'm gonna click on start and it's automatically going to start generating your page. And I just have to sit back. And as you can see, it's already doing all the magic for me. And if we give it a minute, we'll see everything come to life. And within about 30 seconds, we already have this custom landing page built up based on the prompt that I gave it. This alone is just incredibly powerful when you think about it. Now, I know this might scare you a little bit. You might go, hey, <laughs> where are all my clients gonna go? They can just do it themselves. Yes, that is something that we need to think about. But as designers, I actually think we should be utilizing this AI functionality to kickstart and fast track our own processes. Like how cool is it that we can now type in a little prompt that a client will give us and we can automatically essentially build the starting uh, bones of the website already. And then all we need to do is kind of tweak it and it would be pretty close already. Everything's kind of built in a really logical uh, and formatted way. And we can customize this further as well. So for example, if we want to change the styling, I just need to click on shuffle and we can automatically get something new. So I might, I kind of like, kind of like this little bit of a dark blue. Uh, if I want to actually select and change the styling for the whole site, all I need to do is select the desktop layer in my layers panel. And then I can change the themes on the left and the right here, or I can even regenerate this page. So if I wanna change the prompt, I can absolutely do that. So let's change up the styling. So let's change the display font to something a little bit more sans serif. And let's make the text font the same. That's looking pretty good. Let's also pick a new color palette. Maybe we go something a little bit different. Yeah, I like this dark mode. And now one of the other really powerful things uh, with Framer's new AI is we don't have to put in lorem ipsum copy anymore. I hate placeholder copy. So we can actually put in uh, proper copy using GPT and, a and AI in Framer. So all we need to do is select the individual text layer that we want to update. And then you'll see you've kind of got this little magic icon on the right of it. That's frame as AI. So if we click on that, you'll see that it will start to automatically rewrite that text for us. So you could just put dot points in here. You could go, hey, I want something about, uh, what are we talking about here? Why subscribe? And we might have three dot points on why you might want to subscribe. And then we all we need to do is click on that AI button and it will automatically write that paragraph. 
So this is super powerful. The other really powerful thing is instead of customizing the theme for the entire site, we can just change and customize the theme for a certain section of a website. So for example, this why subscribe modal that we have here, again, when we actually select that uh, text on the left hand side, we can actually click on this AI and you can see we can trigger different themes to happen. So we can do the same and we can actually create something that looks pretty unique and still pretty custom. But as you can tell, like this is so easy to do. Yeah, I love this. And maybe make this footer something a little bit different too. Great. So already you can see how powerful this can be. Now this doesn't just work for one page. Let's say we want to add multiple pages. All I need to do is go to insert on my uh, top left and I'm going to go down to AI. Now I can add a new page or a new prompt. So let's go add an about page and let's just click start and see what it does. And now you can see that automatically we've created a new page. Now, because everything's done with AI, it's going to remember what we were talking about in the past. So you can see it's already started to create this, uh, let this about page that for our site. And again, within about 15 to 20 seconds, like you can kind of see this happen in real time, this site build itself. Now I'm still exploring the depths of how this can actually be implemented in Framer and how we can make the most of out of it. But I think for designers in particular, the number one thing this will do is save us a ton of time. We can automatically within 30 seconds, generate an entire landing page that we can just kind of tweak from there uh, for our clients or for ourselves. So please don't be scared off by this. I know that AI is a little bit scary at the moment, but please utilize this as a resource in your own work. And more importantly, we're releasing a Framer Ultimate course soon. So if you do wanna join the waitlist, the link will be down below. So make sure you join that. And I can't wait to see what you guys actually create with Framer's AI. We talk a bunch about this in the course and actually talk about some actual prompts and things that you can use to make this process even better. Uh, but until then, I really hope you guys have found a little bit of value in this and hopefully you can utilize it in your own frame of work. But until then, we'll catch you on the next one.